Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Thursday, March 14th, 2024. I want to start by saying thank you for all the wonderful birthday cards, wishes, high fives. It was wonderful and it really made me feel loved and appreciated and I very much thank you for that. Let's have a thrilling Thursday as we start with the Pledge of Allegiance led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Willis's class. Nicely done, first graders. Please remain standing for a thankful Thursday. I want you to bow your heads and think, who is your favorite person and why? Let's bow. Great job, boys and girls. If you see your favorite person today at school or maybe at home, be sure to tell them that you love them, you appreciate them, they're your favorite person. Today for lunch, we're having cheese omelet with cinnamon roll, peanut butter and jelly encrustable, beef taco with tortilla chips, seasoned potatoes, fruit, and milk. We've got some students celebrating their birthdays today. A special happy birthday to America Marancho Lopez and um, Eon. Warwick is celebrating a birthday today as well. Continuing through our spring break birthdays, we want to wish a happy early birthday to Abdul Ahadi. Marcus Bartholomew are both celebrating their birthdays on March 30th, and we'll wrap up the rest of spring break birthdays tomorrow. Make sure you're carrying your bus lanyard with you everywhere you go. You need it on the bus, you need it in the cafeteria, just makes everything move faster. Tomorrow afternoon, as we get ready to go on spring break, I'm gonna have you put your bus lanyards in your backpack so you don't lose them. And tomorrow is the last day to buy a yearbook. I've sent reminders to your parents. After Friday, we will not have extra yearbooks available. We might have a few, but not very many, and they'll be more expensive. So make sure you tell your parents you want a yearbook right now. All right, I want to brag, and so does Mrs. Jaffe, on Rodrigo from Mrs. Jaffe's class. Um, Mrs. Jaffe sent me this great picture, and she said, Rodrigo was so excited to write his first book review. He's not a big fan of writing, so I'm proud of him for asking for help and wanting to complete the whole review. Great job, Rodrigo. Boys and girls, Miss Reuter and I are so proud of how hard you all worked on the book reviews. We loved reading them, looking at the pictures. I, like I said, we did over 1,500 books, which is phenomenal. Um, so let's keep it up. Let's keep those books reading going. Even if we aren't filling out, let's keep reading those books every single day. Let's be like, like Rod, let's be like Rodrigo, that even if it's kind of hard and it's not something we like doing, we persevered, we didn't give up, and we got it done. So great job, Rodrigo. Very proud of you. Tomorrow is going to be the last day before spring break, and we're going to celebrate it as we prepare for St. Patrick's Day. So on Friday, you can wear blue jeans with either a um, school-appropriate St. Patrick's Day shirt or leprechaun shirt. And if you guys say, I don't have that, Mr. Schneider, you can just wear a green shirt. So we're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day on Friday as we get ready for spring break and as we get ready for a much-deserved relaxation time for our students and staff. So let's have a thrilling Thursday. Let's work hard. Let's keep our hands and feet to ourselves. Let's follow directions so we can have a great day. The choice is yours, Winchester. Let's make it a great day, Wildcats. Bye.